A crisis meeting is expected this week at the anniversary towers as the two remaining IEBC commissioners and Chairman Wafula Chabukati deliberate on the un unexpected return of their former colleagues who had resigned. Now this comes as activist Okio Mtata also plans to file an application before the High Court barring the four commissioners who had filed an affidavit of resignation from returning to work. And as our senior political affairs reporter Chris Thairu now informs us there are reports that 4.6 billion shillings could have been lost during the run-up to the 2017 general election. Yet again, the adversary towers which host the offices of the electoral body IEBC will be on the spotlight after two commissioners, the vice chair Connie Miner and Commissioner Margaret Mwachanya, showed up at the offices four months after declaring that they had resigned from office. The commission chair has failed to be the steady and stable hand that steers the ship in difficult times. And this has now forced IBC chairman of Ula Chebukat and the two remaining commissioners, Abdi Gulia and Boya Molu, to return to the drawing board as they figure out the next course of action with a crisis meeting expected this week with the remaining team at the secretariat noting that the CEO Ezra Chiloba was suspended by the chairman. Appointing or new commissioners is, is, is already provided for in the law. It's a process that can be done in a very, very short time, so long as those in authority to do so have the commitment. Activist Okio Mtata has already prepared an application ready to present it before High Court Monday morning, seeking to bar the four commissioners from either accessing their offices or conducting any business relating to the commission. He argues that they had already signed an affidavit resigning from office. This, even as it emerged that the commission may have lost 4.6 billion shillings during the run-up to the 2017 general election. In a statement signed by the chairman of Ula Chebukati, he acknowledges that the internal audit on major procurement of goods and services for the 2017 elections had been conducted and a report submitted. Further, Chebukati states that the report will inform internal measures to be taken by the commission in terms of dealing with the raised issues. The commission is also expected to appear before the Legal Affairs Committee in the National Assembly on Thursday to expound on these developments. Dr. Rosalind Akombe was the first commissioner to resign from the IEBC months to the 2017 general election. For four months now, the commission has run with only the chairman and two commissioners. Now, with key queries on the disputed 2017 presidential elections yet to be unraveled, IEBC yet again finds itself on the spot, even as infighting among the commissioners intensifies. Chris, they are KTN News, Nairobi.